Hello, we're Team Virtual Dreams from Brazil and we'll now present our project, Eureka. We know the situation of education in the world is far from perfect. According to the OECD, about 25% of high school children in developed countries abandon their studies before finishing. There are many reasons for this terrible situation, but a recent research in Brazil showed that the main reason for school evasion is lack of interest by the students and not financial problems. Another problem related to this lack of interest is that teachers don't speak the same language as their students anymore. With the new technologies, the Google generation wants interactive, updated content and accessible at any time. This new demands for different content review something that researchers have known for a long time. Human development is not mechanical or linear, it's organic and dynamic. Technology is much less expensive nowadays, which means students now have a variety of devices. The issue here is that schools and teachers are not yet employing this power to improve the learning experience. Governments are also playing their part in bringing technology to schools. In Brazil only, more than $100 million will be invested this year to buy tablets for students and teachers. But unfortunately, teachers are not yet able to use all this technology, because using it requires technical training and lots of time, especially to create new content. So these are our challenges to improve education. To overcome all these issues, we have created Eureka, which is a system for creating and sharing interactive lessons that enables a motivating experience for students and easy lesson creation and presentation by teachers. Let's see how it works. Eureka is based on something we called hyperlessons. They have highly interactive data from many sources such as documents, live web data and rich multimedia from video to 3D models, coming closer to the student's language. These lessons can be easily created in any device. Students can also make annotations and share their lessons and notes with other students or through social networks. Eureka is fully tailored for many devices, from smartphones to tablets, up to desktops and Kinect devices. In addition to that, Eureka allows users to connect their devices to a classroom device and watch the lesson in sync with the teacher. All the content in Eureka is stored in the cloud and synced whenever an internet connection is available. This way, users can start their work in one device and seamlessly continue in any other. Besides, this content can be shared with the world on the Eureka Gallery. So how do all these parts work together? In the user's hands, we have the client applications running on Windows 8, Windows Phone 7, web browsers with Silverlight and PCs with Kinect. All of these devices store their content on the cloud, on Windows Azure, keeping local copies for when the network is not available. The gallery also lives in Windows Azure, being accessible everywhere. The client apps can also connect to a presenter app through a local network. This is the app that allows everyone to work in sync and collaborate in a classroom. Both the connection to the cloud and to the presenter are made through open protocols such as OData and TCP IP. This API is open for extension, allowing developers to create clients for other devices using any technology they want. Now let's see Eureka in action in our demonstration.
the main screen for Arika on the Windows Phone. If you want to review today's lesson, just tap it and you will see it on a layout optimized for your phone. All the content is here and you can even create text or voice notes on the go. You can also pin any lesson to the phone's start screen to quickly access it later. Besides recent lessons, Eureka on the phone has access to everything with no compromises. You can navigate on your library, which is synced with the cloud, or you can surf the gallery and find content from users all over the world. When accessing Eureka from a Windows 8 device, the student can see on the left the most recent lessons from his library. The lesson has live content from the web and rich media, and the layout allows for sidebars and extra materials. If you want to know more about something, all you have to do is go to the lesson gallery. In the home screen, Eureka shows some recommended lessons from the categories you use the most. You can surf the gallery by category. or just search for the subject you're looking for. Here you can see a lesson from the gallery with an overview of the lesson content, together with reviews and comments. You can preview it, and if you like it, just add it to your library. You can quickly navigate the library with the help of Semantic Zoom. And of course, pin any lesson to the Windows Start screen. Finally, any lesson in Eureka can be shared using any app on Windows 8, including social networking apps like Facebook and Twitter. In the web client, the user can access everything in Eureka from a web browser, anywhere. The content resizes itself to fit any browser size and any resolution. All the notes that she made earlier on the phone are synced and available here. Eureka supports rich documents without any extra software using Office web apps to fully display Word, Excel, PowerPoint and OneNote content. The web interface is tailored to let users quickly explore their libraries, and the Eureka Gallery, with recommendations based on your library, people you connected with in class, and social networks. To create a lesson, you start by typing a title and adding content with the Add button. You can add all types of rich content such as documents, rich media, videos and 3D content, live web contents or pointers to searches and social networks, 
or even custom content types that can be developed as extensions with HTML5. Here let's choose a PowerPoint presentation. You can pick from the local computer or any app like SkyDrive. And all the content is uploaded to the cloud. You can also customize the title. Now let's add a web page. I can snap Internet Explorer here to look at the site and grab the URL. And then paste it to get the title and thumbnail directly in Eureka. After all the contents are added, we can change the layout of the lesson by selecting any content and tapping the arrows. You can use this to indicate which contents are important or supplementary without having to stick to a linear presentation. When the lesson is finished, the teacher can save it to the gallery and share it with the world. All's ready for tomorrow's lesson! Red. Explode. So as we could see, Eureka enables students and teachers to work together, easily creating and sharing rich content in all kinds of devices. But how do we bring this solution to market? The business model we propose for Eureka is based on school subscription. Private schools would pay around $5 per student per month, which would give them access to the cloud services that would store the student and teacher's content and allow them to connect to the gallery. Governments could make partnerships that would lower that price for a larger amount of students in public schools. Thanks to Windows Azure, our costs depend only on the actual usage of the system. For example, in vacation time when the servers are not being used, there is no cost for us. We can also be sure the infrastructure will scale to accommodate the needs of all new users. As we could see, Eureka effectively shortens the distance between teachers and students. With it, teachers can easily create compelling and interesting lessons and students can learn more without losing their interest. This is backed up by state-of-the-art technology and open standards which provide great user experiences, extensibility in several levels, scalability and flexibility in resource consumption, allowing us to work towards great education for all and a global partnership for development. Thanks for watching this video.